Welcome to ACCA Strategic Business Leader for the latest December 2023 pre seen NC Tech analysis. So, here for the APC, we provide the latest analysis onto the pre seen analysis as well as the application into questions, and also we provide it the mock exams and tailored to the NC Tech company for the December 2023 exam. Now, firstly, the SBA exam nowadays from September 2023 onwards will introduce the pre C material and all of our materials will be uh, updated since 23rd November 2023. Now, in the exam hall, you are given different exhibit tailored to the pre seen case background information and you are likely to get a few questions, usually to be three questions in the actual exam and to answer the SBL questions based on the NC Tech company. Now, in our pre seen analysis, I'll be introducing you a few chapters related to the NC Tech company. So firstly, I'll spend uh, time to go through the pre seen materials before we dip into the PESO analysis, five forces, diamond analysis, strategy, species, matrix, value chain, SWOT analysis uh, of the NC Tech company. And also coming up with the retrenchment strategies applicable to the NC Tech company as well, because the NC Tech company, as you may be aware, that it operates in a, a mature market in Farland. And also there might be circumstances whereby we have strategic drift information, analysis of a culture web applicable to the NC Tech, and also analyzing the leadership stuff and from the previous exam, September 2023, we have predicted the question one to be the leadership. Okay, so we've introduced uh, several scenarios in there and many of my students achieved very high marks in the September 2023 exam. The IT related issues, how to manage project and change processes and talent management. So we'll be applying these stuff into the NC Tech company. Now, firstly, if you're sitting the uh, December 2023 exam, you can download the pre seam from my ACCA. Now, the pre seam analysis looks like this. Firstly, introduction uh, to the background and, and also to the company. And also we're going to be seeing the cloud service industry information, including different stuff in there. And also finally, part three is all about our company. It's called NC Tech. And of course, from ACCA uh, instructions regarding a pre seed you are not required to do extensive research on the background information and also the uh, the industry information but from my perspective though it's very very important for any students to familiarize not only for the pre material but also to know exactly what it means for each sort of information or, or sentence so you are likely to familiarize yourself in working this company and it is very highly likely that you can get high marks in this exam. Now firstly, let's see the introduction there. Now, this is a well-known cloud service company in a developed country called Farland and founded by three engineers who are now the CEO, commercial director and operations director. And of course, the company grown rapidly during the first 10 years. Right. So this will be the introduction. Now, I'd like to take you through to my summary, okay, so the application to the pre -seam. So firstly, I provided the bullet point summary for you. So the company name is called the NC Tech in a cloud service industry in Farland um, by three engineers and grow rapidly holding positions there. Now, what comes next? I would then analyze the pre paragraph for you. Now, firstly, 
I would like to introduce to you the characteristic of a typical cloud service company. Now, for a cloud service company, there will be quite lots of examples. There. So for example, examples like Google, examples like Amazon, examples like Salesforce, examples like Microsoft. So these are the examples of cloud service companies. Now, from the financials point of view, their revenue stream will usually be the subscription-based models. So it means that for these companies, they will certainly receive a lot of revenue in advance before they provide a service. And therefore, in its financial statement, you will see quite lots of contracts liability to be recognized by these companies. Because the users may be required to pay on a monthly basis or yearly basis and something like that. At the same time, quite lots of capital to be employed because this is a very intensive in terms of capital in this particular industry. However, however, the operational costs could be lower okay, at some point in the future or as time goes by because the business may reach the economies of scale. So it's very important to attract traffic in this particular industry is to spread your fixed costs down in order to increase the margin later on. So this will be a characteristic tailored in this industry. And of course, these companies usually have very high margins once the economies of scale is reached. Okay. So making sure that uh, later on when you advise the management of, of this company, the NC Tech, so making sure is that you bear in mind, economics of scale will be very, very important there. So in terms of analyzing the particular project, uh, in terms of the, using, for example, the SFA tests, where not is suitable, feasible, and acceptable, and so on. So making sure they bear that in mind, the keywords, the economics of scale. Now, from a strategic point of view, the typical uh, cloud service company, so first of all, they focus on scalability, okay? So um, many of these companies may be targeting a global market. So this is why later on in the pre c we can also see the statistic related to the global market as well. So not only in our country called Farland, uh, but also in the global market. And also they will focus on the innovation and they keep investing quite lots of money into research and development phase. I will see that later on. And also, they are considering different partnerships, okay, so in, in, in terms of suppliers and, and, and the dealers, uh, so making sure that you're aware that supply chain management will also be very key there. So uh, sometimes you may be asked in a question whether or not uh, we should adopt, for example, the single sourcing strategy, okay, so sourcing only from one particular supplier. But sometimes the answer for that may be no. Okay, so we'll see that later on. Now, for such typical companies, from the operational point of view, yes, it's very important that you keep an eye on always to service reliability. Okay, so making sure that 724 service is available there. Okay, so and also availability, so 724 there. So making sure that ensuring high uptime okay, in your server will be very key there. You can't say that we only focus on the strategic part rather than the operational one. It's very important that you keep that in mind that strategies related to operational one will be absolutely vital to the company to survive. And also security as well, not only the security related to the cyber attack, but also to make sure they keep the client's data securely. Otherwise, this may be punished by the uh, general data protection regulation or GDPR, for example. So uh, a potential legal risk in there. And also customer support, making sure that clients are satisfied. So that would be very important as well. Okay, now real companies, as I said before, okay, I introduced to you that about that. Now, let's move on to number two then uh, is in other applications to the first paragraph there is the implications of operating in developing countries opposed to the developed one of course the developed one as you can say very strong legal framework and you provide a service and more like most likely that your source code of your server and your platform will be 
protected by the laws and regulations. However, if you're operating in a developing country, on the other hand, the source code may be copied by the competitor or others. And this may not be protected by the relevant laws and regulations in that, especially if you're seeking a potential opportunity to uh, set up a joint venture agreement or joint venture entity in the developing country. Uh, so if that's the case, then you may be required to provide quite a lot of source code and technical information that may be mirrored by that particular party and not protected by laws and regulations somehow. So you will need to think about how to deal with that challenge, okay, most likely. And of course, the advantages and disadvantages, of course, related to the growing opportunities and, and the labour and costs, and so on, I'm sure that you can read that on your own. Now, another application I'd like to uh, remind you is that how tech companies will actually grow. So, uh, for example, with the involvement from the founder, of course, the benefit will be keeping the same culture and having commitments to the long-term prospects of the company and also driving innovation. However, if founders later in the actual exam, they left the business, for example, so without founder involvement, so if that's the case then, they need to think about whether or not other institutional investors may be stepping, in, stepping into the business and demanding a higher return. So if that's the case then, okay, you will need to think about how to uh, make sure that you change your strategies and something like that. Now, uh, there will be different signs of growth for typical companies. So for example, if you can see our product and services are diversified and we are expanding into a new market and also our management practices has been enhanced. So for example, incorporating the ESG initiatives, okay, is to make sure that we design the packaging materials and products in an environmentally friendly way and so on. So if that's the case, then we'll see that uh, the company is actually growing. Now, uh, in summary, okay, I provided you with a summary here. So focusing on scalability, because we are always aiming at the economies of scale situation, innovation, efficient operations will be very, very key in such companies operating in this industry. Right there, okay, I'm going to be stopping my first section for the introduction there. I look forward to seeing you in a subsequent one. Bye-bye. A, P, C, accounting for your future.